On the 24th of February today, we remember and honor St. Adela of Normandy, Countess of Blois. Let us listen on to know more about her. The name Adela comes from an old German name that means of noble rank. When a person has money, he or she can use it for good or for ill. Adela used her money and power to do much good. St. Adela was born sometime around the year 1067 and was the youngest daughter of William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy and King of England, and his wife Methild of Flanders. Adela was very well educated, spoke several languages and was deeply religious. Around the year 1080, she married Stephen III, Count of Blois, who was one of the richest men in Europe. Together they had 11 children, although some of them may have been Stephen's children from a previous marriage because he was 20 years older than Adela. Adela supported scholars and poets at her court and this significantly contributed to the spiritual and cultural life of her time. She continued this support all of her life. She also generously endowed abbeys and churches with money so that they could expand and preserve the culture and arts of the time. Adela also corresponded on ecclesiastical matters with the Bishop of Limans. In 1095, Stephen became one of the leaders of the First Crusade, whose purpose was to reclaim the Holy Land for the Christians. During the four years that he was away in the Holy Land, where Jesus had lived, Adela controlled hundreds of his estates in France and was so effective in her governance that she became known as the heroine of the First Crusade. Stephen returned home for a time, during which Adela conceived their youngest son, but then went back to the Holy Land where he was killed in battle in 1102. Adela then became regent for their eldest son, Thibaud, who ruled his father's estates. In 1109, Thibaud was old enough to rule on his own, but Adela continued to exert influence over the estates by her good advice. In 1122, when her children were grown, Adela became a nun in a convent that followed the rule of life given by St. Benedict. While in the convent, she was overjoyed that her youngest son, Henry, was made a bishop in 1129. Adela lived in the convent in prayer and humility until her death in 1137. After her death, prayers were offered at a number of churches that she had endowed personally or had recognized at some point during her life. Placing all our petitions before her today, let us together pray. God Almighty Father, you inspired Saint Adela to strive for perfect charity and so attain your kingdom at the end of her pilgrimage on earth. Strengthen us through her intercession that we may advance rejoicing in the way of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.